Morning guys, just taking the opportunity this morning to uh, just do a quick video on uh, the 300 series again, uh, another 300 series rolling through J-Max HQ. Um, a lot of questions come through on the 300 series, um, you know, GVMs, GCMs, uh, all that sort of stuff. So for us personally, for J-Max uh, and the T-Bro approvals, those approvals still are in the process of being approved through the federal uh, department. Um, one thing I suppose a lot of people are asking at the moment, you know, the GR Sport, you know, because it has a low axle load in the front of the vehicle, uh, bull bars and winches and that sort of stuff. The GVM that we do replaces a lot of the components that are needed to rate that, uh, that vehicle back up to where it needs to be to support all that equipment. So um, yes, for the GR Sport, uh, we can do all of that. Obviously we um, remove the, the electronic suspension out of the Toyota. We have the option of a manual suspension, adjustable manual suspension, or replacing the whole 300 in the GR or the ZX with electronic adjustable suspension. So that means in-cab adjustability, active control, so the shocks will adjust as you drive, just like the 300, but it will do the vehicle front and rear. The other question we get is, do I have to have a two inch lift? So. A lot of people don't want to lift their car, but still require a GVM or a suspension option. So we do have suspension options to go um, from two inches to three inches and 35s for that, for that um, SSM space. However, we do also offer a two inch lift front with a zero lift rear. And we'll do an image of this car to show you that's what this one has. So what we find is a lot of the 300s from the factory, they sit very bum high, obviously, they have a soft suspension to begin with, but with a redesigned spring and airbag combination, we're able to do zero lift in the rear and just raise the nose a little bit to accommodate those tires. So you can go to a 33 or, or a standard size tire either, but it just balances that car out a little bit more. Um, now we have spoken to our engineers in New South Wales and uh, Victoria and from their advice is they will be able to start rolling these GVM upgrades out uh, around the end of uh, November, early December, um, and do those post rego. So obviously still post rego with GCM is still a debate um, and is still going on. However, uh, we have had information from Queensland Transport regarding they are that close to resolving the GCM issues in Queensland and they have been speaking with the other states and territories. So that's a very close solution that's coming along. Um, so that's not far, you know, we're, we're almost at that resolution. And I know it has been a long time, but it does take the government a little while to get all their checks and balances and consult all of their, the authorities in that space. But anything to do with that 300 series, um, give us a call or go to our website at jmax.com.au. I think all the GVM pricing will be there in the next, if it's not there now, it'll be there later today or tomorrow. Um, so that's all getting finalized as we speak.